This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be uh, trying to play with something. I'm going to be trying to play with Dragoonities. I'm lost rock, paper, scissors, so I'm going second, but I opened with Max D, and he opened with Duality. Uh, that's irritating. Um, he's playing Satellers. That's also irritating. Um, whoops. <laughs> Not something I was expecting to see. Um, but so, like, <laughs> pot of Duality, when I've got the Max D in hand, and I'm kind of excited. Uh, but so now... Uh, the issue is that I've got a hand that's actually pretty decent as far as uh, combo potentiality. Uh, that's pretty fine. The problem is I'm going to be going second against trap cards. Uh, so, like, the only card I have in my deck that's really, like, good for that is Dragoonity Divine Lance. Because Dragoonity Divine Lance, of course, makes your cards unaffected by your opponent's trap cards. Um, so I'm curious as to why he's playing Satellers when this deck is really just not that good. <laughs> this deck is really lackluster in terms of, uh, in terms of its place in the format, because, I mean, even the Demise variant doesn't really do that well. Um, it's got, like, inherent conflictions. I mean, it does have that new Xyz monster, the uh, Dark Teller Knight, but, I mean, still, um, I've played that deck enough to know that it's not something that I fancy as far as, uh, as far as possible, uh, things to do there. But, so, is he literally just gonna only set two? Is that, is that the name of the game? I don't have any backer removal in this list, because this is a fun deck. This is not a deck I'm trying to go second with, per se. I'm literally just trying to, you know, just pop off and just be like, ha, we, we got you. Um, but so, I've got Garuda, I've got Mistleton, I've got Baby Rock, which means uh, that I might be getting rid of this Max C in my hand, depending. Depending on what happens here. Uh, so, we definitely, we're going to do this. I'm going to discard the Max C, because I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but I'll add Phalanx to hand, uh, I'll use Terraforming here. The problem is that I'm just going to get striked. I know how this works. I'm going to get alpha and I'm going to get striked. My turn is going to end and things are going to be bad. That's one of the flaws of this deck. And that's one of the reasons why I don't play it actively um, in tournaments. Is because the deck is very much, your normal summon got stopped? <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, duelist. Because, uh, like, look, I'm going to normal summon this. And it's going to fall victim to literally any trap card in the game. It can fall victim to Ghost Ogre. It can fall victim to Strike. What? 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 No, 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 no. There's no way that this is happening. Dimensional Barrier. Ah, so you're still playing Dimensional Barrier in a format where we're, like, have true Dracos and shit. All right. Fair. Um, I mean, not really, but I guess. Um, like, that's that's another problem. Is I'm, I'm falling victim to any trap card in the game. Look at me. Look at me, Mom. Um, but so at least now I can beat over the, I can try to beat over this Deneb. Uh, but then he's just going to use Altair next turn to bring it back. Things are going to be bad. Things are going to be terrible for me. Which was very, very sad, considering the fact that my hand for a turn one play was really strong. Oh, he's just using Duality. Okay, well, he's probably going to take this Raigeki. Uh, <laughs> uh, if he takes this Raigeki and his Raigeki is my board, I'm going to be a little upset, just a tad. Um, so he opened multiple dualities, so that's that's another flaw with this deck, is that you can just not open too many combo pieces. So he's just going to write Geki me for three. That's going to be a minor irritant. Um, but he doesn't have any other trap cards unless he drew one for turn. Uh, so that's fine, because he's, he's locked himself under duality. Okay, well there's one set, there's two sets. Really? What are you normal summoning this Altair for? Just to attack me? That's not correct. That's not correct at all, unless you just drew a Stellanova Alpha. Like... That's, oh, card of demise. Okay, then now it's correct. Now it's correct. And now I lose. If you set, oh, really? Two monsters? What were they? Um, that's a strike. Something I'm not going to be able to use. Um, it was a Vega and a Deneb. Interesting. Uh, well, I'm going to activate this. I'm going to have to keep this strike, so I'm going to have to get rid of this Baby Rock. Unfortunately, Baby Rock does not trigger uh, when you discard it for Dragon Ravine. That's one of the biggest downsides I had of why I didn't play the card throughout the entirety of like the 2012 era of this deck. Uh, but so we're just gonna try this. We're gonna see what happens again. Am I gonna get dimensional barrier again? No? Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Uh, well then, I'm kind of okay with this, uh, situation. But so we'll banish this ducks to summon this Garuda. 
and see where it gets us. I've got this strike, which I could probably fall back on. We'll see what happens here. Um, I want to try and make this Vajrayana first. Uh, I'm going to make it with Garuda in this specifically because if this, if anything happens to this Vajrayana, the Ducks is going to be able to crash with the Altair. Uh, that's going to be important. <laughs> I swear. I swear it's going to be important. Uh, but So I'm just going to keep doing this, and he's probably going to be able to... Hmm, I have a feeling I know where this is going. He's, he's going to just let me commit my resources into an Atum and then stop me with a Trap card. Which is not something that I want to do. Because then it means I have no out to his Altair. Uh, it means all of these things are problems. So what I need to do is I need to make something like Scrap Dragon, probably. Uh, Coral Dragon is another possibility. I could do these into Coral Dragon. And uh, Coral Dragon could just try to attack over his stuff. Um, I kind of feel like that's the option I have to go with. Um, and then if it dies, it lets me draw a card. Um, or I could just go into Crystal Wing. Um, I can go into Omega. I can go into a few different things. Uh, Omega is strictly worse though. Yeah, we'll just go into Crystal Wing here. I'm going to leave the ducks. Because again, if something happens, if I get striked, or warning, or something like that, or if any of these are like mirror forces, yeah, stall and strike, see? He was just going to wait for me to do that. Um, so now I'm just going to attack this and hope that he doesn't have a Call of the Haunted down. Um, because if he does, then I just like instant lose. <laughs> um, do you have it? He has it. Fuck! Damn it! Um, I knew I should, there was a little thought in the back of my head that was saying, don't do it. There was a little thought in the back of my head that was saying, do not attack with the ducks, just leave it. Try and make him commit to his field, and then strike his XC summon, and then you're left with ducks there. Um, man, triple duality, what a fucking champion. Alright, what was those three cards? Strike, Barrier, Galaxy Cyclone. So he's gonna Galaxy Cyclone this, if... If that's the order of business. He's going to Galaxy Cyclone this. Oh, bit Barrier? Okay. Um, that's that's okay with me. Okay. Um, now he's got a Nuko High. What did he search off the... He uh, he searched... What? Off of... He, he searched a Nuko High. That's interesting. That makes me really think that he has access to another... Well, no, he didn't have access to another card. He didn't have anything in Grave. Or in his hand at the point of, of activating that. Um, that's interesting. I'm gonna save this strike. I'm very curious as to what's gonna happen when I, uh, when I, uh, summon ducks and just make it 1900 and beat over a Nukuhai. Um, that way he can't beat over it with Altair. Uh, that's Dimensional Barrier, that's another card that I don't know about. That's Dragoonity Divine Lance. Uh, but, so we're just gonna try and add ducks and be beefy. Now this is my last ducks, uh, so this is a problem if it goes away. I don't have Legionnaire in this main deck, it's in the side, um, it's in the side deck of my IRL deck, <laughs> but like I don't think I've even built a side for this, I think it's just a bunch of cards. Really, a breakthrough skill, that, uh, that came out of fucking nowhere. Alright, well I'm just gonna end my turn, this is gonna go up to 17, if he tries to Traver me, I have Solemn Strike. Now I can't remember Traver's exact word, no, no, don't make the right play, make Traver, be greedy, damn it. He's not being greedy. He's not He's not letting me have it. <laughs> Sadness. I had to go second against literally Trap Deck. That's sad. That makes me so upset. Um, but the fact that I was even able to play this game at all like makes me feel even like worse about Satellus. Because I tried to play this game. I was given turns. We're on turn 7. I was given turns to try and play this game. I was able to successfully summon all of my Duxes. I don't think Satellers are good at all <laughs> in the current context of the competitive game. Uh, there's just way too many flaws with the deck in terms of how it tries to operate with uh, with different things and different uh, different stuff going into that. But anyway, uh, like this is a deck that like any trap deck like this is definitely a deck that the Dragoonies just take a the Dragoonie deck just takes a loss to it if you go second to it. Anyway, um, that's the biggest issue with the deck in general is that I play it as a fun deck. Like I said earlier, there's a reason I don't actively enter tournaments with Dragoonities. Why? Because I like to have security. I like to win. I don't like to lose the die roll and then immediately be like, oh, I lost the match. That's not something that I like <laughs> to have as, as a thing that happens, you know? Uh, and that's very much the case with a deck like Dragoonities. There are the Hieratic builds, which are a little bit better at going second, but those suck too. 
because like you're not playing a full hieratic engine you're really constricted on card choices and then that deck has flaws going first so like there's no real good happy medium that you have with this sort of deck and it's just a fun deck at this point it's just a deck where you just like I play this because I want to try and go first and I want to try and cheese you but if you're trying to take this deck seriously in the in the metagame in the format you're probably not gonna have a fun time I mean there's a reason that even though Ravine is back at a considerable number, we have eight copies of it now with set rotation in the mix, so consistency is very good for getting to Ravine, which was a huge problem before, the deck just has flaws. Every deck that is older has flaws, and that's the biggest issue that, uh, that is going to plague you and plague this deck. There's, again, a reason why I'm not entering tournaments with Dragoonities on any basis, not even regular basis, not even infrequently, I have not entered a single tournament with Dragoonities since Ravine came off the ban list, except for a couple of little fun, like little two, three round tournaments at like Momocon and shit like that, just because they were free and I wasn't losing anything. But as far as regionals, YCSs, anything like that, no. Not even a local. I haven't even entered a four round local with Dragoonities since Ravine has gone back to one, because like, the deck's just very frail. The deck is very fragile. I lose the die roll, and I probably lose the game, which means if I lose game one, that means I'm going to win game two, hopefully, and then game three, I'm going second again, which means I probably lose the match. There's things like that you have to consider. But anyway, rambling slash education slash rant slash over, all of that. Anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly. If it's something that you like and you want to help support what I do to make content, on YouTube, then Patreon is the best way to do so. There's certain rewards that you can get access to in terms of the reward tiers. One of them ends, ends up being uh, private access or ends access into my private Discord server. The other way around, not private access into my Discord server, access into my private Discord server, where me and 15 other people just chat on a 24/7 basis whenever I or any of them has access to a computer or phone, and they are very helpful. And I try to be helpful when I'm in that chat as well, as well as as where I schedule recording sessions with people to play for games. If you're interested to play on games, then you want to get into access into the uh, discord server because that is where i pull all of my opponents from no exceptions but other than that uh, it's just a great way to show support for the channel if that's something you're interested in doing so definitely check that out but other than that if you like this video give it a thumbs up smash that like button all that sort of nonsense to show your support if you're new here consider subscribing i'd love to welcome you to the community of the crazy people that are just allowing me to make this sort of stuff possible by supporting my ability to create content on youtube it's a fantastic thing i didn't think it was possible but it's something that is happening so if you want to be one of those people then definitely consider subscribing if you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content but other than that again thanks for watching thanks for your time time as usual guys and take care. I will see you in the next video.